uh, another great thing that happened last week that we didn't talk about, the public investment fund acquired more than $3 billion worth of stock. Uh, stock? stock? Yes. Wow. Stonk. Stonk. Worth of stonk. Okay. Stonks? <laughs> stonks. Okay. All right. Three billion? Yeah, I'm trying to read off my head at the same time. Yeah. So I don't remember exactly where I put it right here. But anyway, $3 billion worth of uh, stonks mm. and three US video game uh, makers. Oh, that's okay. cool. nice. Activision Blizzard. Ooh. Electronic Arts. Nice. And Take Two Interactive Software Inco- Incorporated. So basically the biggest in the industry. Basically. Really? Almost, yeah, yeah. Almost. One of the, one nice. of the big ones. One of the. the what was the one, one the that ones. they uh, misc signed with uh, recently? Was it misc or Neo? I don't remember. SNK. SNK uh-huh. was the Japanese one. The Japanese one, yeah. yes. Okay. SNK. Was that with misc? I think it was Neo. Was Neo or Misc? I don't remember. One of them. Interesting. Yeah. So. So SNK, That's big. Yeah. SNK does fighting games. EA does everything. The sports. EA does sports. Yeah. Does all esports are go is going to be really really huge. It already is. Well, no, it's actually going to be even bigger than what it is right now. Okay. I think right now it's still not even at, at the largest scale. I think mm. it's still based on certain countries. I think it's going to be a oh, worldwide so thing. So you're thinking esports are going to rival physical sports? You know that esports is right now uh, getting approval to uh, join the Winter Olympics in Japan. Oh, dope. Yes. That's, that's interesting. Okay. So that's going to play a huge, huge thing. Yeah. Talk about strategy, talk about quick thinking. Talk so about- Saudi is oh. basically betting on this gaming thing to take off. Also, what do you have in esports? Uh... Bro, the gaming industry itself, by itself, is bigger than both like the movie and the streaming industry combined. That's how big the gaming industry is. I remember I saw like a, an infographic that had the number, and both uh, like there was a third one. I'm trying to remember what the third. I think is the publishing industry, but the gaming industry out out dwarfs all I, of them by the amount of microtransactions that I've seen. I do not doubt it. And not just that, like the entire infrastructure when it comes to like from the different consoles to the PC makers to the console to the, you know, the device makers, there's an entire like mm-hmm. infrastructure that supports. But gaming. that infrastructure also needs repair. Why do you, in what, in what way? Well, the whole uh, buy to win, buy to advance. The microtransactions thing. Yeah. thing. Yeah. That, yeah. That's, yeah. that's, I think that, that ruined gaming for a lot of people. Like that started with Facebook, wasn't it? Remember farm no, look for skins and stuff like that. Cosmetic uh, stuff. Cosmetics, I get it. Yeah. That's normal. Pay to win is where the problem is. Yeah. Yeah. And once if, you can buy upgrades with real money, that's uh, wait, that you're breaking. The wasn't game. it called free to play? Now freemium. That's freemium, what that's what that's you're what thinking. It about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, it's a free game, but you got marketing. premium uh premium features. Exactly. And I remember that started with like Farmville. Like Farmville was one of the biggest, you know, purveyors yeah, I think of so. that in twenty fourteen. So. And then EA jumped on that boat. And they started doing mm-hmm. that with FIFA and the microtransactions yeah. there. What I see right now in the gaming industry, sorry about like steering away from. Uh, no, no, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. But uh, like you got PlayStation, Xbox, and Steam, they're all doing this whole stream, like the streaming service, like okay. Netflix. Okay. You pay a subscription, and you get access to all these games. Okay. And you can play them whenever you want. Okay. And that will give a lot of indie developers. And a lot of games that get like passed on because they don't want to spend 60 bucks. Aleha. You give them a, a place to shine, a place to, to, to be accessible to any player. Which is a good thing. It's really good. It is really good. The big boys are not going to like put their games on these services. Like you're not going to see FIFA. Well, FIFA has EA access, but I'm not sure about that. But like, but that's different than GTA, the actual platform. Yeah. Like the, if a GTA game drops... Don't expect it to be on these streaming services. Although GTA Five, which dropped in what 2014, yeah, something like that, and they keep dropping it again and again. It just and got again. added last year to no, to no the keep, it's service. the same drop. They never dropped it. No. They dropped it. They on, dropped DLCs. No, no, but didn't they drop it on the new PlayStation? Hmm? Yeah, 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 it's the same game. It's the same it's the same game. Same but game, yeah. yeah, it's accessible. It's it's upscaled or remastered. Or I don't think it's whatever you want to call it. Yeah, for for the new console. And on the other hand, you have Nintendo, which is doing something completely different. Oh, these guys are bullshit. Really? I re- and I really hate Nintendo. Oh, really? Yeah. Why is that? Because they're they're like locking up their all like all their uh, what do you call it? IPs? IP. Yeah. First party content. Exactly. Okay. Give it to the people. Uh, I every want you gamer, to come to me. Okay. No, no, no. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. From a consumer standpoint, okay. I want to buy one console, and I want to play everything on this console. Okay. Okay. But every gamer has a decision to make between Xbox and PlayStation. If you're not a PC master race dude. But that's always been the case. Okay, though. Yeah. Raise your hand for the 30 minutes a month that you <laughs> yes. play. 30 minutes? Come 30 on, minutes. it's eight. Yeah, fair enough. That makes more sense. <laughs> Let's be real. Yeah. But but that's always been the case though. That 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 has always been the case. But every gamer has to buy a Nintendo uh console. Switch or 3DS yeah. or I'm gonna play everything gone. on Xbox or, or PlayStation or PC. But when I wanna 
play Super Smash or Mario Brothers or Link, Zelda, whatever. You gotta. Which keeps them in their own lane, which makes them, which is why they're so damn successful. Are they? Like we've had this discussion recently. Yeah, we had a discussion. I was fighting both of you and I was saying what he was saying and both of you are against us. Now he also agrees with what I was saying and you're still disagreeing. You'll come around. Don't worry, you'll come around. You'll come around. Like, okay. Okay, You're going to see, when Nintendo really hits rock bottom, right, which is going to happen in the foreseeable future, they're going to say, you know what? Okay, we're down to our last thing. Fuck it. Release on everywhere else. Well, they'll still have that. They'll always have that. I mean, exactly. So, so, so they have that trick up their sleeve. Just just to go back to that discussion for really quickly, the discussion was about uh, like how they innovate and how they take risks and how they don't really follow the established route of gaming yeah. in order to push the boundaries because they're really truly gamers at heart. If you want, uh, okay. if you want, if you want to believe okay. that or not. Okay. So, and I remember what we came up with was that they had so much catch reserves right now that they could basically do whatever the fuck they want without... You know, do you understand how cash country. reserves work? Explain to me how cash reserves. Work. I asked you a question. Not really. Oh yeah, then I won't be talking about it. Uh, that tells me. If <laughs> right, I just want you to leave it out there. Uh, okay. Don't be using words that you don't understand. No, but that tells me that as a company, company has, if has... you have money, you need to spend it. Okay. You can't be chilling on it. That money is gonna rot in a way. Okay. Yeah. So, for example, Apple. Why are they looking at cars and looking at all these things for a reason? What's the reason? We can't leave our money just sitting there. We have to reinvest our money. We have to grow our business. So me having cash reserves doesn't mean, hey, man, I can relax and kick it. No. If stocks go out and your shareholders say peace, mm -hmm. whatever. Nintendo, no shareholders, no stock, nothing. Just a company as it is. You're at risk. You need to spend the money to grow your company. Now, if you're just floating, that's going to be a problem. But, that's but not, Nintendo yeah. always has a trick up its sleeve. Exactly. Nintendo's always that risk taker that high risk high reward company that you know i don't know i don't think they play high risk high reward no 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 no. they play a safe they play a very very safe and in certain ways they do you know we're family friendly we're keeping hold of rip you know it's about nintendo mario uh it's about mario zelda like those big you know marketing terms exactly <laughs> you know those big money bringers that always keep people coming back and even when they license their shit out even when they did the mario kart on the iphone that shit sold like people went crazy for that right it wasn't mario kart it was super mario yeah, so, uh, and then they did a Mario Kart that came later. Did they Mario Kart? I'm not yeah, sure. I, 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 don't have, I have it. I have it on my phone. I, I remember nothing was like Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, that and was. See, and see, that's what I'm people found dead bodies because of. Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. Yeah, yeah, Pokemon Go changed the world. Yeah, because people were going around the streets. Do you know how how it does yeah, it function? Yeah, the whole augmented reality thing. So like this, people were going <laughs> people to bushes. Bugs. Yeah, this yeah, little girl yeah. was going and she went to a bush and she found a body. She called the cops. Yeah. They found two dead bodies Yikes. or something like that. Bro, that got people into military bases. Like, <laughs> you had literally military. Uh, like, what is these people doing here? Yeah, we're just looking for a... For know, a damn Pokemon. Do you have Charizard? Exactly. Bulbasaur. Where's Charizard? Do you have a, is there a Bulbasaur somewhere over there? <laughs> I need a Charizard. Uh, Talk about something. Bro, please. Yeah, I know it's there. <laughs> it's Area 51. <laughs> Come on, bro. That Mewtwo in there. Please don't do that to me. Just the one. <laughs> just the one. <laughs> don't do that to me, bro, please. Just imagine a 12-year-old. Oh. The army doesn't stand a chance. Yeah, but that motherfucker is not gonna go nowhere, bro. They did go everywhere. They literally they did go everywhere. Yeah, but they won't get inside there. It reminds me of a story of this guy who was telling us about how this kid walked into uh, the a car dealer. I'm not gonna say which car dealer. Okay. And he's like, I need to buy a car, and he was like, I'm gonna buy this car. And they're like, Well, it's too expensive. It's this much. And he was like, Okay, how about this car? It's used. They're like, Okay, it's like it's this much. He's like, Okay, how can I get it? Like, okay, come into my office, and you know, they checked his credit. He has like no credit, nothing. Like, you know, like, what, do you exist? <laughs> Who are you? And he was like, yo, if you get a kafil, like, you know, we can hook you up. So the guy just started walking around the showroom asking for people to defend you or whatever. Oh, shit. Wow. Yeah, and everyone was like, bruh, relax. Who is See? this kid? <laughs> exactly, yeah. So, He's man. He's wrong. <laughs> yeah, you know, he like went to the street, and the street I started asking please, people. Please tell me to find one. <laughs> Of course not. Bro. Okay. Was that kid called Adam? Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. Just want to ask. Hell Just no. Want to make sure. Okay. Who was me? <laughs> <laughs> it was me. I was begging. <laughs> but they didn't want to help. Give me a call sign. Please. Uh, can I have a caffeine? Exactly. <laughs> can I have a caffeine? <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, assholes. Anyways, going back to it, like, yeah, Nintendo just fucking rocks, honestly. Yeah, sure. I'm a big fan. Yeah, even, though, I, even though, even though, even though you never purchased anything, no, even though I've stopped you have a switch for a while. Yeah, he said no. Tell us, do what do I you own from switch? Nintendo? Sixty-four. Wow. A GameCube. A GameCube. Hang wow. on. A Wii. That's yeah. it. That's I'm, 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 a, I'm a big okay. fan. That's yeah. right. You're a big yeah. fan of what? You don't even put money in that company. I you don't support. Stop gaming. You don't buy their stuff. 
I stopped gaming a while ago. <laughs> Do you buy figurines? He talks as if he's a Figurine. gamer. This is a stop yeah. gaming. Yeah, exactly. The, 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 Nintendo's not only living on games. I have a Nintendo T-shirt. <laughs> oh wow! Okay, <laughs> does okay. that help? I'm pretty sure they they put that in their like shareholder meetings. <laughs> Chelsea bought a T-shirt. Somebody had to buy it, right? Uh-huh. Oh my God, you're a loser. <laughs> <laughs> Chelsea bought a T-shirt. <laughs> Chelsea bought a T-shirt. <laughs>